Hello, welcome back to mysimhelp.in. Uh, in this video, we will look about the SAP data migration cockpit, especially on the work center. So, actually, we have few other videos which related to SAP DMC, which has an introduction, then direct transfer, then the object list, and that is a part one for the work center. So, in case uh, if you have not seen them, it is better to watch them so that you get a continuity of what this uh, data migration cockpit is all about. So we will see the uh, worksheet or the template what we have downloaded and the data that's filled in. So we have seen about the field list. We have seen about the work center header. So if you see here work center header, I have entered the details that is required to create the work center. And I have given the details on the capacity, especially all the mandatory fields are taken care of here. I didn't want interval, so I didn't maintain. So you can skip if it is not a mandatory field, etc. I have given the details of the cost center and also the work center description. So by this, I have filled the template. So next one is we will try to upload this template and create the work center through data migration cockpit inside the SAP. So we are in the SAP data migration cockpit. Um, I have I have given my uh, filter criteria. On my migration object and I have reached to this stage now I will go to the upload file so here if you see we have downloaded the template and then the next stage is to do the upload file so I go here click my upload file so already there is a data so since I am using the same thing I have to delete if there was something earlier I will delete the files whichever is inside the system. So I go here, upload. So the system is asking me. So once you click the upload, it will ask the path. And now you need to do the you need to select the file. Once you select the file, then you can see here the status will keep changing here. So it says data successfully stands for to staging tables. That means now the data has moved to the staging tables. Suppose this what you do is we go back. Now you can see the status has changed. So earlier it was an upload file. Now it's saying about is it's saying you need it, it needs to do the preparation. So I go and click here the prepare. So it's asking whether you need to do a consistency check. Yes, I say and I'm saying okay, prepare the staging tables. Okay. So what it happens is system is running that okay so still this uh, you can see there is a running activity is one and if we click this uh, we will be able to see what is that running activities etc so actually if we click this then you can click go you can see here for our migration object the staging tables has got started and there is an active job of one so if you want to see multiple activities then you can go here so i am just going back to our project once again and still you can see the running activities is one here there is a status preparing staging table it is saying it started so we need to wait till the status has changed is changing now it has changed now you can see it has moved so we we were in download then we did the upload then we did the prepare and it is talking about the mapping task here so we click the mapping task so already this is important uh, it is saying 15 confirm zero errors in case if there is anything that we need to confirm then it is better to go here and do the confirmation so i select all and i do the confirm then close this come back so now the mapping tasks are over. Now system is asking us to simulate. So I click the simulate. Saying whether I, if there are these instances. Yes, I say click all the instances. Here if you want to see the instances here we are having two. So I am just saying it as start simulation. So you can see here simulation migration has started. So 
so before simulation it is not possible to go and do the migrate okay so we have to wait the simulation status to change so you can see here for this object now the simulation status is gone it's saying about migrate so that means we are at this stage we have we have crossed all the stages now we are ready to migrate the data so let's hit migrate so it's asking whether all instances so i'm saying all successfully simulated instances start migration so system is giving you a warning you are going to migrate data it cannot be undone so i guess it's okay go ahead so it's starting its simulation and it's starting to migrate So there will be little lag you can see the migrate data it is saying it has started so you can see this the status has changed now migration process for this particular object at this stage is 100 percent successful and uh, you know it has researched the status to the first one that means it is saying once again to do the upload file part so we can see here how many uh, you know how many objects are successfully migrated so if you click here this one gives you some details about you know when it was migrated what was the details etc so these kinds of information is also available in the SAP data migration cockpit so now this object is done so same way for every object this is the process that means you need to first create an object project then assign the object once you create or complete the assignment etc then you get this project then inside the project you have steps first you will go to download the template get the template properly filled in then upload then prepare then map using tasks then simulate then migrate so this is how this uh, the whole process of migration happens so we saw the end-to-end -end process of how to use a data migration cockpit. So here uh, we saw the full objects, uh, the complete uh, data migration cockpit for the work center. And so the introduction, then we talked about direct transfer and then what are our object list. And we saw a practical example of how do we use it for a full cycle. Uh, thanks for watching and in case if you have any uh, feedback or any queries uh, so do keep uh, leave a comment we'll look and uh, address the comments or feedbacks what that you have thank you very much